Hey there, how you doing? I'm here in Big Bear Lake uh, in California, which is actually a little bit chilly. I thought it was a, uh, supposed to be a nice bright and sunny day, and it is. It's a pretty day out here on the lake, and um, but the, the wind is, uh, the, the chilly uh, wind off the uh, surface of the lake here is, uh, I'm kind of feeling it because I was silly in uh, wearing my t-shirt rather than wearing a hoodie or a jacket, <laughs> which would have been smart, but a uh, beautiful lake here and a really pretty day and an amazing drive um, uh, 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 up here uh, on the uh, Highway 38. Uh, it's really picturesque and really pretty. So um, what are we paying attention to? Um, one of the things that I'm finding, people who are struggling with their businesses, especially in adding more clients, is they tend to have their attention on the wrong things. Uh, and some, sometimes they've got their attention on uh, you know, keeping themselves busy, but not actually uh, uh, keeping, keeping themselves in business. And so what I mean by that is they tend to consume videos, content, um, they're consuming, you know, they're, they're looking for tactics and strategies and you know, they're looking to uh, craft and nine times out of 10, the majority of people actually never implement these strategies. I'm guilty where I've actually built entire funnels and never run any ads and launch the campaign uh, and get got caught up in that whole syndrome of the bright and shiny object. So my question again is, what are you paying t attention to? Are you paying attention to income generating activities in your business or are you paying attention to uh, learning or are you paying attention to um, uh, looking for uh, new ideas or fresh ideas and approaches that you're actually never going to implement? And that's the big challenge with a lot of people in business is they've got an idea, they've got a process or they think they've found something and uh, they may make a half-assed attempt at putting it into place, but actually never get the result. And so this causes um, frustration, angst, and then we're sitting there saying, oh, why isn't this business working? The reason why the business is not working is because we're just not working or focusing our attention on the right thing. So we, you know, if you want to learn how to sell, start having conversations, start listening to people, start asking questions, start getting feedback. Um, you know, selling is a simple thing. All we've got to do is find out what their objective is or what the problem is and then find out why that's important to them to solve that problem and then from the other side of the point how do we bridge the gap from where they are now in the problem to what is the solution to get them over or bridge the gap to solve that problem and so if you looked at your sales process when you're talking to people having a conversation and saying okay so where is the bottleneck where is the struggle or if you're doing certain things to generate clients or if you're doing certain things to make sales what things aren't working in that process what aren't you happy because I'll guarantee you the majority of people out there that are spending money on leads and advertising promotion aren't tracking what they do they aren't following up their leads they aren't actually you know they'll tell you that they're getting a whole bunch of rubbish when they haven't optimized their own sales processes so you know to sell people lead generation um, all you got to do is ask them how it's going right now. How consistent is it? What is the quality? Uh, have they thought, you know, if they thought um, that they'd like to attract better quality clients, well, what does that better quality client look like? Um, how does that client make a decision? Uh, you know, um, uh, when is the optimum time? What's the best offer that you've ever run before in the past? The things that you can do to just have a conversation and just take an interest and ask questions. You don't have to go and say, I want you to buy something, but if somebody's interested in learning more, if somebody wants to know more, you can say, hey, let me show you how it works, and if you want to, I can do this for you, right? Or some people are gonna flip the table on you, and they're gonna say, that's really cool, how much is it gonna cost us for you to do this for us? I cannot tell you how many times I've just been in conversations. In fact, I was just coming from New York City, and I was meeting up with a few friends and I met a new person in the group and they ran an investment firm and we were just talking about the whole concept of the automation or automation in terms of following up leads and uh, he had a he had a sales team of eight people in his investment firm 
Um, they, had, you know, they were growing, they were very successful, they got lots of referrals, lots of leads, but they know, he knows that they were burning through a lot of opportunities. And all I did was just ask questions to say, well, you know, uh, I know the referrals you convert at a high rate, but you're out there prospecting, what's the conversion on the prospecting leads? And he says, well, the, the, the conversion on the prospecting leads, on the bought leads, are very, very low. And I said, well, why do you think that is? Rather than me, I already know why the, what the answer is, but I wanted to find out. So I just asked him, why do you think the conversion rate's so low? Well, so low because you know they don't know us. Um, uh, in some cases, they're not ready to buy, so they're not filtered. We haven't really qualified them. Um, we haven't educated them as to why they should be looking at options with us. Uh, they are, you know, are the leads interested in investment? I ask, you know, the leads that you're buying or generating, are they interested in investing? And he said, yeah, they're all, you know, they've all got investment properties, they've got portfolios, they're at a certain category. So, you know, they're people who are interested in investing if they had the right option in front of them. And so, so I asked again, so what do you think would make a difference? You know, and he'd say, well, if there was a way that we could sort of educate them, uh, show them, or at least uh, 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 share with them uh, the options that they have to look at new opportunities, then uh, that might make a difference. And I said, so right now, do you automate a process or do you have a process in place? Uh, is it left up to your salespeople or you know, do you send out newsletters? What do you do to educate people on a consistent basis, right? And he says, well, you know, we've got this quarterly newsletter we send out to people. And I said, is it printed? Are you emailing it? I said, no, no, we get it printed up and we mail it. And I said, how much are you spending on that mailing? And he says, well, you know, we've got, uh, you know, 8,000 people, uh, you know, it costs us about um, $25,000 to send out these newsletters. Um, every quarter. That's $100,000 a year in newsletters. And I'm asking you, how much business do you get back from the newsletter? Do you actually track it? And he says, no, we don't. So he said, how do you know people like your newsletter? You know, and he said, well, some people give us feedback. They like the newsletter. They like receiving it. You know, we do print it up with a bit of quality. And I said, what if you could actually do that a little bit cheaper or less, uh, a little bit cheaper. And what if you could actually automate the process? Would that be something that would be useful or helpful? Because right now it just seems like this uh, uh, process where you're gathering information, getting all the design done, put all the information in, and then send it out in the in, as a direct mail piece. And so, yeah, he says, uh, you know, so I started, g'day, Jamil, how you doing? So I started talking about the idea of nurturing the prospect. So what if you could actually drip feed? Uh, perhaps you can actually do voice drops. You could do text messaging. You might even do messaging on Facebook or you can run an email campaign that answers key uh, questions on a consistent basis and then uh, you know on every fourth or fifth email offer the opportunity for the lead to make an appointment with your consultants or you can talk about a particular investment structure or an idea um, uh, educate that market about that idea and say look if you're interested um, you know we're holding a seminar or a webinar or what about those sorts of things it says well we don't know how to do that, you know. Um, and he says, uh, you know, uh, we don't know how to send or broadcast, you know, thousands of emails uh, to our leads uh, because most of our leads are in our pipeline in our operating system, right? So they didn't even have a way to be able to communicate. And I said, imagine what would happen if you automated the process of nurturing those sales rather than having to rely on your people to occasionally have to pull out a list, pick up the phone and follow up people that they've actually got no real relationship and they're kind of coming out of the blue. Wouldn't it be better, you know, what do you think about the idea of warming people up? Um, uh, even uh, surveying them, asking questions, running a survey or a quiz to get them to open up to more information. So this was all. This was was just a conversation, and and then I said, well, what if you could do uh, have a page with a little video that explained what you guys are really good at, um, made it very easy for people if they wanted to have a conversation where they could just click a button, schedule an appointment with one of your uh, one of your financial people, um, and if they're interested, uh, uh, if they'd like to, to raise their hand and say, hey, we will run a mini series of uh, advisory um, options for uh, investments, right? Whether it be uh, you know things like on tax breaks or whatever, right? So simple idea all this was was a conversation and in the end the guy says so can you help us do this now remember they're spending a hundred thousand dollars direct mailing a newsletter twenty five thousand dollars every quarter um, direct mailing newsletter they don't track 
they don't measure, they don't, you know, they've got a, they've got a bit of a warm and fuzzy feel about it, but they have no idea whether it's working and they're too afraid to stop sending it out in the market. And all that was, was just a conversation with somebody and just taking an interest in what they're doing and how things are going and, and, uh, and then just making a couple of really simple suggestions. And then that person turned the tables around. Now, if they're spending $100,000 just on a newsletter strategy, uh, I know they're spending money on uh, buying leads and ads, so they've got a significant budget in the marketplace. And so here they're filtering and telling me that they are a qualified prospect to generate leads for. Now, what I would do is I would set up automation, sales automation, even if they needed a proper CRM because they're probably not doing it properly. And, uh, and from there, I've got options and opportunities and the engagement might be worth 100,000, 200,000 plus as an offer purely because I've just asked. Remember, they're willing to spend $100,000 on a printed newsletter. How much would they be willing to spend on an automated system that is continually and repeatedly bringing in or converting leads into appointments uh, by running a automated funnel to make that happen? So think about the conversations that you can be having. Think about where your attention is. Is your attention on helping people to grow and scale their businesses? Or is your attention on um, uh, getting, uh, you know, on these ticky tacky ideas that you never follow through, that you never release? And the only way to learn is to have the conversations. The only way you're gonna get the feedback is if you actually go out there and do those things and have those conversations and you'll get better and better at asking questions, you'll get better and better at, at maximizing your opportunity to be able to convert and close. Um, you'll get stronger feedback from uh, um, people out there. And if you have that consistent, hey, I'm just having a conversation, and in that conversation, I'm just trying to help out. And if you're trying to help out people, people know that. And oftentimes people are gonna ask you, what do you do? How do you help? Hey, maybe you can help me. It is not hard to go and generate clients. There are a lot of people out there who have no idea what's possible online or through automation. And if you're out there, if you know the little knowledge that you may or may not have that you've scoured or generated um, over time to, uh, to um, uh, understand how automation and marketing works, um, that little knowledge turns you into a brain surgeon, right? For most people, you are very knowledgeable because they have no idea. I cannot tell you the number of conversations I've had with people about automation and they're sitting there going, we've got no automation, or they don't use their CRM, or they don't communicate with their market, or they don't send out regular offers, or they don't follow up all the leads um, in the market. So understand that you've got plenty of opportunities and what you need to have your attention on is getting better at having conversations, getting better at listening, getting better at asking questions, and more importantly, making sure that you let people know that you are available to help them. So with that, I hope you enjoy this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.